This is the Simulation 88. Um, it's been a few, it's probably been about a week since I posted my last video. Um, I got a Nintendo Switch in the, in the, from the, since the last video I got a Nintendo Switch. Finally acquired one, second one. Got the OLED, the white OLED. The Tropical uh, Satisfy Grip. It makes a world of difference playing this thing off with the Satisfy Grip. It's just, I feel right at home. You know, it feels the, I, feels real good. Um, and my old Switch, I had a Satisfy Grip too. I had a black Satisfy Grip, but since then they came up with new colors and I like that setup right there. That white with that, with that green right there, dude. And then you got the blue in the back. It's like the Animal Crossing colors. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, right now on it, I've had a bunch of I had a, a bunch of games on my uh, my library. Well, let me show you the game I'm playing first before it exits out. Um, but I've been playing Skyrim. Sorry, it's like reflected. I've been playing Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the Switch and it looks crisp, dude. I paid, I'm not gonna lie, I've had this game, I already had this game on my last Switch, but I had the physical copy of it and when I sold my Switch, I sold the physical copy of my Skyrim. I had like two games, physical copy, two physical copy games with my old Switch and it was um, Skyrim, the, the, the original Skyrim um, that came out on the Switch and um, Pokemon Sword. Pokemon Sword, I got that with the Switch. And that Switch, like I said, and I think in my, one of my previous videos, I got that Switch for Christmas. And it was a lovely Christmas playing Pokemon Sword. I felt like a little young boy again playing Pokemon Christmas morning. Oh my gosh. This year, I'm hoping, I, Pokemon, I'm gonna get Pokemon on the 18th, obviously. Um, I'm gonna get the Scarlet, Pokemon Scarlet. And that's November of this month. That's this month on the 18th, I'm getting that. I'm not going to work that Friday. I'm already planning on taking that Friday off just for Pokemon. I'd like to get the physical copy on release night. Like I wanna, that's the thing. Like I like getting something the release midnight. At midnight, I miss the times going to GameStop on release day of like a system or a game with a sky oh when skyrim was released first released i think it was like probably what, 10 years ago obviously because it's the anniversary edition 10 years ago when skyrim was released i remember me and my buddy um we took midnight i forgot what day it came out i think it came out 11 11 11 11 11 Maybe, yeah, probably 2011, 11, 11, I think is when Skyrim came out. Either way, took work off the next day. That midnight, we met up at the uh, GameStop by our, and, uh, in our, our, our area. We waited at the door until midnight. They came, I remember they came and unlocked the door. We were so happy. We waited in line, got the Skyrim, the hard copy, go up to the front desk, like, wait for our copy, got the game. We bid each other adieu and we just went our separate ways. He went to his house, I went to my house. Stayed up all night long. I remember texting throughout the night, like him texting me, he's like, yo, people with the hardware. And he had, I think he always picked a um, Dark Elf. That was his type, Dark Elf. Mine has always been the Nord. I've always been picking the Nord no matter what. And I'm loving it, dude. The $70 I spent for this game is legit. Like that guy, look how my dude works out all the time. You don't, I don't know if you can tell. I got the dang. <laughs> yeah, that's so me, dude. You got the backpack. But I gotta like, it's kind of blurring up right. It, it doesn't look nowhere near as good as it really does, like with your eyes on it. But look, when I grow a beard out, that's how it looks. Oh, why is it getting blurry? It's my phone, to be honest. But that's me, dude. Those were the arms back in the day. 
that's how the arms were too like i stopped I, you know i took some time off but let me grow the beard out dude that's the goal that's the goal right there dude <laughs> watch me grow my beard out like that again anyway <clears throat> let me cut this off before the battery dies but the, that's those sounds are so pleasant that's why i got this i had to pay seven dollars i was like yo this, the nostalgia for this game dude and i'll keep going i'll keep weapon off that's my thing but i've been thinking about so many so many good old memories dude but yeah playing skyrim trying to find some like get into a, like yourself in a hairy situation like going to one bit place, but then seeing like a cave or something like that in the distance, like I gotta go on. I'm gonna finish this this um this mission or this goal or quest or whatever. I'm gonna I'm about to finish this quest in a minute, but let me just go over here real quick and just to see what this is, cause I don't wanna forget this. So that's just, that's why I love it so much. And I wish Fallout would come out for this. Like I've been waiting for Fallout 3 to be coming for, for a good nice Fallout 3 port. The Fallout 3 port can look like that, how Skyrim looks right now. Dude, this anniversary, anniversary edition was worth it because I had the old the old Skyrim game for the Switch, the physical copy, and it didn't look nothing like that. So they must have improved the graphics, add a bunch. I think they did have a add a bunch. But I'm so excited about it, dude, because it brings me back. Let me. Fit. I don't know where I was going with that. Oh yeah, I was about to get an Xbox. Let me go back to the story about Skyrim open at night. But let me finish this story real quick. I was in the store literally like five days ago, Monday. I go to work, I get off, I'm calling, I'm, I call the first GameStop by my work. I'm like, yeah, you guys got an Xbox, because I know they have OLED, uh, Switch OLEDs, you know, those are, you can get those pretty much anywhere right now. I call him up, I'm like, hey, you guys got any Xbox Series Xs? He's like, yeah, I'm like, oh yeah. Because, you know, they've been hard to find, now they're coming in where it's like, it ain't that hard no more, like PS3, you try to get me to get a PS5, but I didn't really want, I don't really want a PlayStation. I've never been I I have do have like a nice memory of PlayStation. I got that one, the first one, the second one, and the third one. I had them all, I have all the PlayStations. But I'm more of an Xbox dude versus Sony. Like I ain't trying to like pick like who's better. Like I wish I could have both of them. I have nothing against either one of them, but the Xbox that's what I want, the Xbox. The Starfield's coming out, you know, I gotta get the Xbox for that. I want the Series X. I had the S, had to sell it. Don't compare, it's like, I don't know, the S, I think the S is trash, to be honest with you. <laughs> but, so I come on, like, you got the Xs? He's like, yeah. I'm like, how many you got? He's like, I can't tell you how many got, but I do got them. I'm like, all right. So I go up there later on that day, I have the money, have the cash in hand, and I'm looking at the Xbox and I'm looking at the Switch. And I don't pick either one of them. I don't pick either one of them. I'm there for a while too. The guys came up to me a couple times later. You need help? I'm like, I'm just trying to decide. And you know, like, I, I know I'm going to get something. But I just don't know what I want to get. He like, I don't know. He tries to talk me out of what I'm going to try. I didn't, he didn't really tell him what I was going to do. But I was leaning towards the Xbox. Walking out with the Xbox that night. The Series X. But I was like, you know what? I do have a 4K TV in the living room, which I played on, but I couldn't do it because I don't want to take the the TV time for my family. The only time I can play the t it on the TV is when, I don't know, the times are just kind of more rare to get the chances to play a console game system on the TV. But I want to get a new TV before I get Xbox Series X because the TV I have right now, yes, it's 4K, but it's only got 80 hertz, so I can't, I won't get the 120 frames per second, which I want. So if I'm gonna get an Xbox Series X, I'm doing it right. I'm gonna get a new TV, which I probably will get that this Christmas. The, the X is coming this Christmas. And so is that TV. And I probably will post something about that. Cause I meant to do an unboxing video on the Switch, on my new Switch. But I was like, yeah, there's so many videos on YouTube about an unboxing of OLED. Like, everyone knows what it is. It ain't nothing new. It's a year. It's been out for a year. And yeah, I felt, I, I kicked myself in the butt when I got the Switch. Because I'm like, yo, they're going to come out with a new one in, like, March when Zelda comes out or something. Like, I was like, you know what? Forget it, dude. Pokemon will come out. Just do it. Do it right. Get the Pokemon on the OLED. But I'm glad I did. 
And when the new one does come out, when the when the Switch Pro does come out, I think I'm just gonna take this one, get the store credit from GameStop, and just get the whole new Jane. Like that's what I'm probably gonna do. That's my plan. But anyway, yeah, there it is. So that, oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, on the first night, I went to go get the Switch or the Xbox. Didn't choose none. Went home, called my wife. I was like, hey, I didn't get nothing. She's like, what? I was like, yeah, I'm gonna wait a minute. I, I kind of want a Steam Deck. I was looking to the Steam Deck and I I ordered one. One was all coming to me in like a week or two. It said one to two weeks. They were in stock. I went on Valve, ordered one, got the top tier one, the 512 gig. Got the top tier one. Bought it for $687, bought it. I was like, you know what? I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm buying it. The what? The rent was paid, the other bills were paid, we had food in the fridge, you know. We got everything right, I got my truck fixed. We got our truck fixed, because the water pump had to be replaced, but we got it fixed, all that stuff. So I had, we had some little bit of play money. So I was like, yo, can I just get this steam bag? Like, is that irresponsible? She's like, no, you work hard. Like, just get it, just do it, and just and be done with it. I'm like, all right, you know what? She's like, you've been talking about games. I'm like, all right. So I ordered it. So excited about it. Then I started doing research on it because I didn't do too much research on it before I ordered it, which was my mistake. But so many games, it just looks so good. The resolution was so good. Like the frames, the frames were good. It looked good. Jim looked huge. It looked like a Sega game gear. Remember, I got that jump when it came back. That came out back in the day. But it just looked really good on there. So I ordered one. That night, I look into it, and I see everything looks good. And I'm like, but well, you know what, dude? The Switch has a huge advantage because you can change the Joy Cons out. That's what I love about this thing. So if like if you're scared of Joy, uh, what is it, analog drift? These things you can replace them. So I'm like, yo, I'll never worry about analog drift on this. Just as long as I take care of the the, the screen and junk. Which that's cool. That's cool. Whoa, look at that. But that's the thing. Like I was scared of the Joy Con drift. And I'm like, yo, if I buy that, I don't wanna have to send this thing off because the, the warranty on the Steam Deck is only a year. So I'm like, yo, you know what? I ain't trying to worry about this thing being broke for eight in a year after that. Gotta replace one of them out of luck. So I got the Switch. And the battery didn't last too long on it. It only lasts like, I think on a AAA game, like Red Dead or something like that, or even Elden Ring. It's only gonna last like an hour and a half, two hours tops. So I'm like, you know what? I don't feel like dealing with this battery. <laughs> So I canceled it. The next day I got the switch over. I got this right here. We got and re-downloaded all my games I used to have. I got all the good ones. Went to Walmart real quick, bought Pokemon, Arceus. I have not been playing that too much, but it's been a ball the times I do play it. Um Yeah. Which one? Got a the brown purse? It's in the Where bedroom. I know, it's in the bedroom on the top of the clothes. By the cabinet. <clears throat> Got Pokemon Arceus. Played that a few times. Then I got Skyrim. Anyway, back to the Skyrim story. Opening night. Go to the store, get the game come back home go our separate ways i guess yeah the car's on the table okay the car's on the table in there by the plants her bank card is on the table by the plants she needs the bank card to de deposit money she needs a bank card yeah but she thinks that the car's in her purse it's not it's on the table in the kitchen on the plants by the plants shut the door please by the plants on the spinning thing okay bye So, go get to the game, get home. Text, and I'm up with my mom at the time. I'm like, I'm running our room for my mom at the time. Take the next day off of work. Both of us did. Play the game till like five, six in the morning or whatever. Sends me, 
I remember very vividly him sending me him sending me a picture of his AOP hardware and his guy just had the nicest hardware and we just got the game. I'm like, bro, I'm finding like fighting werewolves, finding caves. This dude's working on armor and junk. Got the top tier armor in like the first like five hours of the game. I'm just like on the first like two quests, like just deep just exploring, fighting dragons. But yeah, it was just a good, it was just a good time. And then texting about it, like just having someone to talk to about a game that comes out, that's the fun part. That's the addictive part about it. The camaraderie. But yeah, I'm about to play some Skyrim today. I've been feeling kind of sick. Actually, I have been sick. My daughters and all of us, we got, I don't know, the flu must have got us through. We got put through all of us. But I'm feeling the congestion in my, in my nose and you know, my daughter's been having like, these freaking fevers on and off and then we go but everything's cool I'm like yo we just gotta stay hydrated stay hydrated stay uh nourished and you'll get through it you know anyway i think that's it i just want to talk about the nostalgia to this to Skyrim, like I said, it was worth it. every seven. This whole the seventy dollars. I'm looking online about it. I'm like, yo, is it worth? Was it worth buying, spending seventy dollars on this thing, on this game? And I'm like, yeah. Me the, just the memories with it. And it's just, and they added a bunch of new stuff. They made the graphics night crispier. The graphics are already okay, pretty good on the basic one, but now they're just they look great. So I'm waiting for Fallout, and they, they got to do Fallout. Once the Fallout 3 comes out for the Switch, or New Vegas even, oh my gosh. But Pokemon, I'm gonna play, probably be playing Skyrim until Pokemon comes out. But I got a bunch of games on here, a bunch, you know, like, compared to what most of these dudes have out. Today I was watching this guy, Metal, G I don't know if I, I can't, I don't like the name, but his, it's this dude, Metal Jesus, Metal Jesus Rocks. Nothing against it, nothing against him. I just don't like the name because this channel's great, like everything on there is great. And then these other dudes I've been watching, um, this will maybe kind of not actually not Metal Jesus Rocks, but um, beat em ups. I watch these beat em, beat em up videos, and that's how I got the satisfied with it. Not how, but that's the, how I got the idea to get it anyway. Oh, that, the, the, I saw his room, his game room, and it just looked ridiculous. So I'm not into it like that, and I never will be. Props to you, dude. It, it looked, I was just like, oh, I want that. I want all that, all those games he's got. I want a room like that. I want a game, I want a game room. But let me show you the games, because I have, like I said, oh, that's what I was comparing it to. I have nothing that these, like, these guys... That's what they do. This is their job. Like, but I got a few games. Not a lot, like obviously, because I, I got to pay bills. I mean, everyone's got to pay bills, but all the decent ones, I think I got. Like, oh, Animal Crossing. I lost a lot of arrows in my life on that. The 64 you know, Pokemon. Don't play that. Cuphead. This Ghost um, song game just came out. It's like a Metroid. It's pretty cool from space that's i played there for like five seconds but i need people to play with zelda got pretty far on that then i lost all my dad when i sold my other switch bioshock i know so i got stuff to do like i'm gonna i just bought bioshock the other day and i haven't played it i want to get tuning for this but um i don't probably spend 30 dollars on it right now and the death store and that's i played that for like 15 minutes it's fun i always give it a fun like Sometimes it's too much choice, too many choices, or it's not a good thing. That's why I've just been sticking with the nostalgia side of the Skyrim. That's why I'm playing that. But anyway, this video has been a hot minute, 21 minutes we're on right now. But it's been a long time. I couldn't post. It. I didn't want to. I wanted to get an unboxing video, but I'm like, yo, I ain't gonna do about it. Now, if I already got the Steam Deck, I think that would have. But then there's a lot of videos on that too. So it's like nothing's really. You're unboxing, what are you, you're unboxing something everyone's already seen. 
but I will post that setup when I get the Xbox Series X and that TV. Cause I already got my eye on that. But yeah, that's it. All right. Oh.